Epic Games has recently launched Unreal Engine 5, which has tremendous graphics quality by using their two new technologies called Lumin and Nanite. Lumin allows developers to create fully dynamic lighting in real time like graphics rendered by big studios such as Disney and 20th Century Fox, with less effort. It will also save a lot of time to work on lightning. Most of the game developers who are watching might know how painful it is to work on lightning. On the other side, Nanite is also one of the best features for those developers who have mediocre performance PCs or laptop, which do not allow them to render highly detailed models with good frame rate, so they either compromise on details and frame rates also. Luckily, this problem is solved to a large extent. Now they trick their own engine as Nanite scales LOD in real time, there will be no need for polygon count budget or polygon memory budget. UE5 will automatically do itself of creating LOD matching the scene. It allows developers to have as much object as possible in the scene, the ability that is limited by other game engines. But the big joke is you will not be able to get full performance shown in UE5 sample with your old PC having i5 or DDR3 RAM or with your 1660 Ti, even with Nanite and Lumin. As I told you before that purpose of these two technologies is to make solo developers create photorealistic environment like big studios on a good PC, but still UE5 demands high-end PC or laptop. So the time has come to tell you which laptop or PC is good for UE5 for full performance. UE5 release data which asks you to get as much RAM as possible like 64GB DDR4 RAM and get RTX card with PCIe 4.0 SSD. So problem is solved with PC developers. And now problem is which laptop is good for UE5. UE5 haven't released any update yet on laptop specs. I am also not satisfied with the information available on internet. So keep it in your mind, your laptop should have RTX 300 series card. Okay, after doing research on best budget laptop for UE5, I concluded that after Nvidia removed QMAX for RTX laptops card, now RTX series works with TGP, total generating power. So you will see a lot of good laptops from good companies with really low prices like you can get Acer Nitro 5 or MSI Stealth for 1200 bucks. But after researching, I got the answer that these above mentioned RTX 3060 laptops give 2060 performance or 1660 Ti performance because they have low TGP. Now keep in mind laptop with initial TGP of at least 100 watts and dynamic boost of 15 watts your laptop is good to go with maximum UE5 performance. So following are the best options for UE5. You can buy Acer Predator Helios 300 with RTX 3060 card of 130 TGP for 1300 bucks and for 3070 you should go with Alienware M15R4. It is best of the best option you can get under 1600 bucks and also with 150 watt TGP, the most powerful laptop in the universe. And this both laptop has 6 GB VRAM which is enough. And for RTX 3080, now you're out from reasonable prices. You can either buy Alienware M17 R4 for 5500 bucks and with best 165 TGP watt or Lenovo Legend 7 for 2500 bucks. So at the end, Alienware M15 or M17 are the powerful laptops for game developers or for UE5 Beast. Alienware is one of the most hardcore brands for game development. I prefer game development on laptops for solo developers. You can enjoy traveling while working on your games. So I hope you got my point for laptop specs. Thank you for watching and support our channel by subscribing.